This is Ozarks Fox AM. Welcome back to the second hour of Ozarks Fox AM. I'm Kelly Smith. And I'm Jeremy Rabe. Thanks for tuning in on this Monday morning. Oh, I'm loving the warm weather. Me too. Aren't you? Oh, I love it. Yeah. It's oh, I love it. So great. Sunday, you know, you felt like you could get a suntan out there. I'm glad. I really did. It, although I learned something from you first hour. Yes. Sunscreen expires. It does. And I was spraying it on probably every 30 minutes. It's I've, a spray that I do. Yeah. But it's last year's. No I, no, I don't know how long it takes to expire, but I think that it worked. Because do I you, look burned at all? No, you don't. Okay. I started feeling a little twingy, um, but I don't think I think I got a little bit of color. I couldn't find any sunscreen. Um, yeah, it was oh. probably all in the boat. Oh, was, I bet so. It was probably all in the boat. But, probably. Um, and you know, I know. Sometimes I go out for a little while without any. I know that's bad, and I well, don't. I'm not recommending that at yeah. all. At but at all. least you're aware of it. No, I know. Yeah, uh, we didn't wear it too much as kids. In fact, my dad used to lather on baby oil with iodine. Me too. <laughs> Why well, did the baby oil, but not iodine? Yeah, absolutely. So th this weekend, I was telling you, I went to Lowe's. They were open. I got uh, some some herbs. Got two tomato plants, and I mm -hmm. do want to tell you, there are no tomatoes on them, and there are no flowers on them. <gasps> They're only about this big. You're getting golf claps right so, now. So, yes, yeah, there you go. So, that's going to be fun. And I wanted to show you a little bouquet I put together uh, from just things in my yard. And this, just, you know, you've got the dogwoods blooming, you've got the red buds, and then just some different things. Is that hyacinth? Uh, no, that is uh, lilac. Oh, lilac. Uh, All right. But I've got the three tulips that I had left. And you know why I decided to go ahead and cut them off and put them in there is because the rest of them that were at the front of my driveway that I was enjoying got eaten. Well, yeah. Again, I, by, by the deer. They left, yeah. they left them alone. There were some that were up and bloomed, and I thought, oh, aren't they pretty when I drive in? Well, uh, they ate them. I had an idea for you this week, and I forgot to text you. I was okay. thinking next year with the tulips. Uh -huh. What if you sprinkled cayenne pepper in the tulips? To get them to not eat it, they'd eat one, and their mouth would be so hot on fire oh, I hate they would to not. Do that too. Well, they'll get over it. I mean, it's not going to kill you mean them. When I plant them, no. When I they just... start getting taller, maybe put cayenne around the base, or even sprinkle it on inside because it will look like the polleny little <laughs> sprigs in there, and it will camouflage. And the deer will be like, "Look at that!" And they'll, they're like, "They'll only eat one." Yeah, that's a good idea. It would help your tulips. Well, yes, I, I appreciate you thinking about that. So anyway, I just went ahead and cut the other three I had left. You should. I'm glad you did. So that the deer could. At least you them. could enjoy them. <laughs> Exactly. All right. We want to check out this beautiful weather and see what's coming up. Elisa, good morning. Good morning. We're starting out with a couple of clouds and temperatures very warm. It's 64 degrees on south and southeast winds at 14 miles per hour. Uh, we're mostly cloudy to overcast. A couple of sprinkles over to the east. Haven't seen too much in the way of rain reports this morning. Temperatures are running about 10 degrees warmer than they were yesterday. We are in the 60s. It's 65 at Lake of the Ozarks, 64 in Camdenton, and 64 in Springfield. So very warm start. Our average daytime high is 69, so already a big boost in temperatures. We make it to 78 by dismissal. We'll be mostly cloudy and warm through the afternoon. Uh, Cardinals have a game at Hammonds Field tonight, 6:30 first pitch. Mostly cloudy in 73. I do think we'll stay dry through the game. Temperatures stay warm in the upper 60s. Uh, those uh, showers won't pop until after the game on the overnight. So a weak disturbance comes through uh, by tonight. We'll have a couple of spotty showers possible. We'll keep some of those showers as possible through tomorrow morning's commute and then some scattered showers and thunderstorms through tomorrow afternoon. Not everybody will get this rain. It's not going to be very widespread, uh, but we'll have the clouds, a couple of showers, and temperatures in the middle and upper 60s. So if you need to mow the lawn, today will be drier, so you might want to do it today. Tomorrow we'll have some of that rain move through. Again, maybe not everybody gets wet, but you'll want to check that Color 10 weather app uh, before you head out to make sure. We'll keep those spotty rain chances through Wednesday and Thursday as well as the pattern just stays pretty unsettled. We'll have these rain chances here midweek, and then we dry out by Friday. Thank to expect here while it's an active pattern we're not really expecting too much in the way of impacts no day will be a washout not expecting severe weather not expecting widespread flooding and then we'll have uh, that sunshine return by friday so here's that seven day mostly cloudy and warm today here's that unsettled uh, midweek active pattern with the scattered showers and storms and then sunshine and 75 on friday jeremy kelly that's a forecast i can get along with because <laughs> rain chances in the weekday Weekend looking good. <laughs> That's true. Weekend looking good. Are we low on rain right now, Elisa? 
Um, we had a pretty wet winter. I'm not sure yet about the spring, but yeah, the grounds were saturated from the winter. Um, but at least we're not expecting any widespread flooding. With Elisa, this. can I tell you, yes. the ground is still saturated. Still, still. Because <laughs> I was digging my pond, and <laughs> wet dirt is much heavier oh, yeah. than not wet dirt. And it was, I went down about three feet, and it was all wow. very sat oh, really? very saturated. Really? Wow. You know, so think, you have big muscles now because you were the you were with the heavier dirt. <laughs> I'm feeling it today, Lisa. Are you feeling it? I'm feeling Are you it. Sore? Yeah. That's a good feeling to have, though. Yes. All right. Thank thanks, you. Lisa. Hey, speaking of Lisa, guess what? Coming up, we're going to be oh, playing yeah. some Earth Day trivia with Lisa Raffa. Yeah. She thinks she's going to pull one over on us. Oh, I don't think so. You think we're going to guess everything? You think yes. we're going to know everything? Cumulus clouds. Oh. That's all we need to know. We'll Lightning be back. from the ground up. Lightning trees. Yeah.